YouTube, this is RobotGG here for another Let's Play Ogre Battle 64 Part 22. Um, last time I believe we finished the battle and went into a scene and ended up there. So I will get things set up while playing the intro. Anyways. Yes, this is a female Japanese composer. I actually have two from female Japanese composers. Voice of that guy, it's gonna be Mel. So, alright. And ready? There. And a little higher. There. <laughs> Matrix in the uh, underground library mention it. And they're all written in the ancient sacred script. We have no doubts uh, about their credibility. Oh, yes. But you told us that nothing can be done until we know uh, the exact location of the Temple of Birthday? We did not find any information on, uh, information on the Temple. I can't help but think that it's kept by the Eastern Orthodox Church. Sealed underground library and the scattered ta uh, documents, two fold security, a, pe a pathetic attempt to conceal the knowledge. Have we heard anything from Celestis? What is Karakov doing? Who's Karakov? We haven't heard anything yet, Your Highness. We have no future unless we find the ultimate power now. We will li relive the legend of the Prodigal Nature. We will, we will win back our kingdom. Now is the time to break the Prodigal seal of the Temple of Birthday. My king, I beseech you to make the decision. Wait, I thought you were the prince. Wait, wait, he is a prince. He says not his son. Right, right, right. Never mind. Okay, we're good. I can't let you pass. I I must confirm with it. Oh my way. I don't know who's doing that voice. Oh, okay. 
Next time that happens, I'm gonna do your voice, okay? Jeez! Oh, wait. Deja vu? <laughs> Sir Richard! English voice! English voice! Wh why are you friends, King Crocus? Why were you talking about something you did not want me to hear? No, no, I would never. Fine, I'm here to deliver a um, decree. Effective today, the kingdom of Platinus is stripped of its anatomy. Platinus is under the complete control of the Holy uh, Lotus Empire by order of the Pope himself. Wait, Pope's his name. You fall all orders issued by the Tribune, but by it. You have no freedom to act without permission. Any questions? What is that all that? This all about, Sir Richard? Do we not devote ourselves to serving those? But now you rob us of our autonomy? That wasn't the bargain. Do you not realize you have committed a grievous crime? We have the uh, we the whole story. Uh, <laughs> Holy Lord's Empire, do not tolerate the heretics or the pagan reliefs, and the kings that created them as well. The Revolution Army defies our policy. The Zenobians and Bonacons cooperate with them, and the appearance of the demon, the Ogres. Plantness should be destroyed, but instead we have decided to take other matters. What do you have to complain about? You are absolutely right. Father! See, I knew it! I knew it! We will give you further instructions later. Understood? Until then, make preparations to destroy this, this castle. Until then, cheerio. Haha! <laughs> Don't you think? Woo! I will forgive your insults this time. You should discipline your children better. Yes. Are things proceeding as planned, Baldwin? We've experienced some difficulties, but it hasn't affected our plans. Prophilus is already on the next step. As soon as preparations are complete, we'll be on our way as well. How are you going to take the responsibility of your failure with the Revolution Army? Those who are incompetent do not deserve to exist even my own brother. Keep that in mind. Oh, here we go. I feel like Ex Vic should have a Irish or some kind of Viking voice. Why are we? Why are you still hesitating? The set of the vision is the only one left that stands in our way. With the help of the Eastern Orthodox Church, our victory will be granted and guaranteed. Am I wrong? Oh, that nailed it. <clears throat> Frederick's French, yeah. Since our current military strength equals that of the center division, it is now possible to make 
peace with them. Blessedness will suffer heavily if we go into war, and it is the central region that will suffer the most. They should realize that too. We must avoid any further battles for the sake of this kingdom. Sure, uh, we may be on par with them at this moment, but what if the Eastern Orthodox joins forces with the Central Division? Besides, are you taking into account the deserters from the Western Division that joined us? We can't rely on them. You'll never know when they'll turn against us. It wasn't their will to fight us in the first place. And now they have made up their minds to fight alongside us. <clears throat> Why do you still doubt them? All I'm saying is that we can't trust them that ex easily. Who told you to make peace with them anyway? Don't forget that you're disobeying orders. We are grateful to them for teaching us their tactics, but that's not quite enough. But besides, it's impossible to fully trust someone who was an enemy just a moment ago. Don't you agree, Sir Angus? Well, I understand what you are trying to say, but I believe you are mistaken about one thing. We did vow to fight alongside the Death Riders. And that is exactly what our, what we are going to do. However, I never said a word about joining the Revolution Army. To right the wrong in this kingdom. That is what our commander is striving for. And that is the only reason we fight. Yeah? And I wonder where your commander went. Is that him? Nope. Excuse me, sir. It has been reported that the troops of the Central Division are advancing toward this area. Shit! There goes the piece of corn out the window. Send a message to the Eastern of the Lark's Church immediately. Trying to Irish or Viking accent is really hard with him. Because it's in the medieval ages, okay? So, Ankasis, I apologize for his discourtesy. I please understand that even though there is different opinion, each member of the Revolution Army is concerned about the future of Latinus. There is no doubt that Lotus is going to intervene. We need as much help as we can get. Sir Ankiseth, I implore you to join the Revolution Army. I have to rescue Prince Sumil. Uh, the Central Division must have been affected by the liberation of the Western region. But we have not heard anything yet. Must find out what they're up to. I beg your forgiveness for not accompanying the revolution army. I don't think anybody could stop you. I will be praying for your, uh, your and Prince Yumil's safety. Skewe, which means father. I will be looking forward to see you again, Robot Cheesy. <clears throat> on the map, on the map, on the map, map, map. Turned on the list. The crossroads. I don't. Oh, wait. Never mind. I saw the crossroad. Scene 17 The Setting Sun. Really? It's. it's it's 1.55 and it, it's not... The sun's not safe! The sun's not safe!
Here's the plan. Listen carefully. Okay, seriously, are we gonna talk first, dude? Here we go. Let's talk first before we go into the map right away, okay? <sighs> Whatever. Just, just, yeah, just do that. With your magical powers and stuff. Let's get started. We we'll make Roma. Voila! Our base uh, of operations. For a kiss, a day and a half wet east is our goal. You must capture the fort. Our scouts have identified as an enemy legion between Ramallah, Ramallah and Fort Achilles. We can win or lose based on our approach. We can avoid them, but since we don't know their plans, we can't do anything foolish. What should we do? I'm sure you are aware that some of your men can change classes. Some can even become centurions. That's awesome. We have gained information on the use of legions from the Western Division. It seems very difficult. It would be wise to take time to learn how to effectively control a legion. Okay, hmm. yeah, so I'll go this way. Deal. And then Leo will get that and then she'll come back for that one. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Why would I want to repeat the briefing? Seriously. Do you understand? Then let's go. Okay. No. Let's not go. Let's hear. Let's stay here and talk. Okay. I'm tired of going. Okay. Uh, here's the map. This is what you're supposed to do. Okay. Now go to map. It's like seriously. Can't we sit down and talk? Like, nope. Throwing you into battle. Okay. Uh, whatever. Uh oh. Dramatic music. Oh wait, uh, not yet, boys. Okay, now you can come out. Skypian. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Wait, no, no, wait. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Mm, da. Uh. Glam drain. Okay. Sort of looks cool though. Alright, uh, uh, wait, I have it. Uh, Alright, a wild raven attempts to attack you. Let's see how he handles it. Ah, uh, but let's do this! 
Well, that raven never had a chance. A walking dragon! Ah, oh, yeah! Mm, five minutes. Level up. Yes, in five minutes, the deal will level up. No! Dumb it. Yep, Lena. Big nut and giant mutant chickens. Yep. Where are you getting these walking dragons? I want one. I want one for my birthday. Cause you know, Christmas is fast and stuff. Seriously, why aren't they moving? Fungus. Yeah. I'm gonna call that place Burgundy. Okay. Great. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they're moving. But okay. I, I know, you know, leaving that base right there in front of them is a bad idea, but they're not moving. It's like, aren't you gonna move and stuff? Forgotten to move, uh, deal. Someone named Sasha. Um, used to go to my high school. Well, not <laughs> yeah. You used to go to high school with me. Oh, wait, no. I graduated from the same year class. Yep. That makes more sense. Jeez. Yeah, don't, don't call her Sasha. Or, um, is the other one? Sushi? Yeah. Wait, was this girl's name Anderson? I hope not. Like, um, that's a guy name.
Alright, so to the next item to Let's Play Old Route 64, Part 23. This is RobotGZ, signing off. Make sure to like, comment, rate, subscribe, maybe even favorite if you want. So, see ya.